hi friends and welcome back to my channel um hope everybody's doing great so i'm going to do some little tips from my book how my loving him taught me how to love myself um actually this is way before i met him but the the this is like the do's and don'ts of dating or pretty much some of the things that I went through when I was online dating and um, hilarious um, just some things to look out for um, when you're online dating or just dating it doesn't have to be online dating you can meet somebody anywhere and they can still just you know be some kind of way um, please before we start subscribe and hit the notification bell thumbs up yay um so the first thing i wanted to say when i first started dating and um like doing an online dating and a guy would be like you are we gonna go dutch and i'd just be like uh what you know i had to ask somebody what is dutch and you know i guess that's when you pay your half um so whenever somebody said that i talked to talk to him for a while on the phone and everything and then we we go to meet first you chat and then you talk on the phone and then you meet um in a safe place you know i always had like a friend sitting at another table until i was like ready to say all right this is good um but <laughs> um yeah i would just be like no i don't i don't think we're, we're gonna work out because for the first thing if you don't have the money to and it's not all about the money it's just you're a lady and you should be treated like one so if you if somebody can't take you out to a decent lunch or a nice dinner um after you talk to them or something for a good impression then they probably not going to do it in later on in life <laughs> so in your relationship so no i don't do dutch and neither should you um the second thing i wanted to say is um, that five minute coffee thing that people say, oh, they'll be like, oh, you know, let's just meet for coffee so we can see if we um have a connection. Uh-uh. You don't know if you like somebody over a five minute cup of coffee. Um, you just don't. I can talk to a stranger anywhere on the street. If, like, hello, how you doing? You know, have a cup of coffee and then go my merry way. No. If they don't have the time to sit down, sit down and get to know you, then that'll be a no <laughs> that would definitely be a no 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 and then a no again i would i just be like i'm sorry no if you can't if you can't do lunch oh you know well i take all these people out because i gotta meet people bad wrong answer no not happening so of course um but that's just me but i'm just saying if they don't have that time you know you cannot make a connection in five minutes you can't or 10 minutes or whatever 15 minutes you have to talk you have to get to know the person i mean you should have already talked on the phone anyway um before you meet but um no if you don't have time for a nice lunch or dinner or, or something then yeah um no the bad that's a no um <laughs> so that's like a couple of my rules with that um if somebody send you um personal pics of parts of their body and you don't even know them yet delete them just straight up delete them don't even like send anything back just be like delete because that's that's just disrespectful and ignorant and um i don't like that and uh my worst thing when they start calling you baby baby this baby that and i'm a baby girl like i i, I understand that i know this um but you know you know you're gonna do this and you're gonna be this way because you, you're gonna be my baby no no you don't know me um no <laughs> so that's a no too um right now we're just getting to know each other and i'm not your baby uh just put it just put it like that and i'm straight i'm straight up sub but i am not um you earn you earn that it's not something that's something you can take or anything you earn a submission from a, a beautiful person um what else uh, i'm sure i'm gonna think of a lot of things because there's so much i was like reading some of this and it was just like crazy so i'm gonna just put one i'm gonna tell you a story about um a guy i met and he was supposed to own his own business and um you know be doing good in life and well and everything and was supposed to be busy and all of that stuff and so we met we went out we had a nice dinner um you know after we talked and all of that stuff and we started seeing one another now i don't go out and sl just sleep with anybody like i just said you're you're taking me out we're going on dates um you know i'm not i'm not calling you back every five minutes uh i'm not wondering where you at when we first meet uh and um if you don't get in touch with me i'm definitely not getting in touch with you 
uh, it's just like that because if you don't show that you have time for me, then I don't need to be around you. So, you know, he's like, yo, I don't have the time in this. I'm like, cool, okay. You know, just went on about my life. So he calls, we start going out and, um, um, you know, for, for a couple of, for, for a couple of, like a couple of weeks or maybe a little bit more. So we're going out, we're going out at the beginning of the weeks, we're going out, uh, the beginning of the month. So it was like three or four months and, um, no, I did not sleep with him because I just didn't believe in that time. This is, um, um, this is actually after my heartbreak. So this is when I learned a lot about myself. So, um, no, I didn't. I, I, no, <laughs> that was a no. And that's how you do it. You show respect for yourself. You make sure you get respect for yourself. And thank goodness I didn't because it turned out that he had no job. He was on unemployment, you know, and, um, he lived with his mom. <laughs> so it was just like, Oh, Oh, okay. And, you know, so I put here, um, literally, because <laughs> I, this stuff is, everything I'm going to say is some true stuff I went through. It's, it's just ridiculous. The things that, the stuff that's out there in a the dating land. So it's like, if he is telling you that he is self-employed, but is never going anywhere, if he only has money a few times a month, he is not likely on, he is most likely on unemployment. That's going to run out, girls. So unemployment is going to run out. Then he's going to start asking you for money. He's going to be like, baby, can you like loan me some money? Baby, I got to do this. Baby, can you give me this? And, um... And he's, a, you know, he want to expect you to start paying for stuff and paying for dinner. You know, can, can you pick up the dinner? Can you do this? And you're not going out anymore because he can't really afford it. He couldn't afford it in the beginning. So you were strapping him anyway. Um... And especially if you like sleep with somebody or whatever, and then they think they got you hooked. Oh, yo, they they just try to get anything they want from you. But don't do it, girls or boy or whatever you are. Don't do it, okay? Um, make sure that you know that this person is who they say they are. Make sure that you know that this person has a job. Make sure that you know that this person can take care of themselves because we are all grown-ups and grown-ups should be able to take care of themselves until you become in a relationship and you take care of one another, which, you know, takes a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's going to be that for today, the unemployment one. I also put, um, you know, if you meet somebody in a bar, this is my first one. I think I put it up there, but I'm not sure. But if you meet somebody in a bar and you go home and you have sex, um... I don't think that you can really get a good relationship out of that. Um, trust me, I've done it. I'm not saying I did. I, but I was working 80 hours a week. And when my kids would go away, girl, you know, I had to, I had to do something. You know, I, I, nobody came into my house. Nobody met my children or anything when I was dating. Don't ever, when you're dating like that, if you have kids, don't bring people in and out of their lives. Because that's just wrong. Um... So nobody came to my house. Nobody met my children. So once, you know, once a month or, or the weekend, yeah, I hook up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I am cool with it because a girl needs to get hers too. Um, everybody thinks that it's just a guy that's on the prowl. Girl, let me tell you, I was on the prowl when my boys went away. I was like, I'm out. I put on my little mini skirt, my heels, or my boots, did myself up, and I went out, and I would pick a person and say, that's the one. Um, make sure you always have protection, and make sure that you take care of yourself, and, you know, sometimes it just be that way. But don't expect a relationship out of it. Don't, like, really, just don't do it, because you don't know this person, and you're actually just jumping in, the sack with him and then you're just um and then you're like staying together so you're getting to know him as you go along and then everybody including just everybody puts put on the front when they first meet you they're they're not who they really are when they when you first meet a person there's a lot of sides to people and they are only showing their good side sometimes <laughs> trust me because i got more i got so much more to say <laughs> Because I got pages of this. I think I got like lots, like a hundred or something. But um, yeah, so if you meet a person in the bar, you go, you know, you do your thing and everything. Don't get all like crazy and stuff when it don't work out because 
yeah, it's probably just not going to work out. Or your opposites, you stay and you're fighting, you know, you stay together for dumb reasons. Love ain't supposed to be that way. Love is supposed to be happy. People do have their moments, but it's not supposed to be like wild and crazy and like some kind of emotions when somebody turn you into something that you're not like evil and mean and vindictive and fighting and sad and crying like it's just so many words that we can put out there for that um and don't forget if he says he's self-employed but he never goes anywhere and he can't afford to take care of you he is most likely on unemployment or living with his mom or not paying bills and don't know how to take care of himself. So he's damn sure he's not going to take care of you. You will end up taking care of him. And that, my friends, is a no-no. Okay? So that is it for today. And um, so these are my tips on my dating, just things to do, the do's and don'ts of dating when you're out there. You know, after you're recovering from your little heartbreak or whatever, when you start loving yourself first, love yourself first. Do Never forget that. Love yourself first. You are beautiful. Look in that mirror. Tell yourself that you love you. And until you can do that, don't try to love anyone else because it's not going to work. Um, uh, you know, you got your kids. That's all different. I'm talking about relationship-wise. So don't try it because until you... Until you're able to love yourself, then you'll know the respect and the worth that you are. And you'll and people won't be able to take advantage of you. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I can't wait to do the next one. So stay tuned for the next tips of my do's and don'ts of dating from my book, How My Loving Him Taught Me How to Love Myself. <laughs> Bye. Bye, friends. Don't forget, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. <laughs>